In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Gospel bears witness to the presence of our risen Lord with his disciples as they gathered in his name. When he was at table with two of them, he took bread and blessed and broke it, and gave it to them, and their eyes were opened, and they recognized him. It is recorded in the book of Acts of the Apostles that as the church was gathered, they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers coming together in their homes. In the company with all believers in every time and beyond time, we come to this feast of our Lord to know him in the breaking of bread and to await his word. Jesus, I am not worthy to have you come under my roof, but only say the word and your servant will be healed. Let us confess our sins. God of all mercy, we confess that we have been unfaithful. We lack love for our neighbors. We waste opportunities to do good. And we look the other way when you cry out in the suffering of our brothers and sisters in need. We are sincerely sorry for our sins, both those we commit deliberately and those we allow to overtake us. We ask your forgiveness and pray for strength that we may follow your way and love all your people with that perfect love that casts out all fear. Through Jesus Christ, our Redeemer. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Hear these comforting words. If you repent and believe in God's redeeming mercy, your sins are forgiven. Trust in God's promises and begin anew your life with God and all people in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The peace of God be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord God. It is good that we do. Holy God, we praise and bless you for creation and the gift of life and for your abiding love which brings us close to you, the source of all blessing. We thank you for revealing your will for us in the giving of the law and in the preaching of the prophets. We thank you especially that in the fullness of time you sent Jesus, born of Mary, to live in our midst, to share our suffering, and to accept the pain of death at the hands of those whom Jesus loved. We rejoice in that perfect victory over the grave, you raised him to become sovereign in your realm. We celebrate the coming of the Holy Spirit to gather your church by which your work may be done in the world and through which we share the gift of eternal life. With the faithful in every place and time, we praise with joy your holy name. Holy, 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 God of love and majesty, the whole universe speaks of your glory, O God most high. We remember that on the night of betrayal and desertion, Jesus took bread, broke the bread, and gave it to the disciples, saying, This is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And in the same manner, Jesus also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Consecrate, therefore, by your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine. Bless us as we receive them at this table, where we may offer you our faith and praise, where we may be united with Christ and with one another, and we may continue to be faithful in all things. Through the broken bread, we participate in the body of Christ. Through the cup of blessing, we participate in the new life that Christ gives. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Take, eat the bread of heaven, the body of Christ. Take, drink, the cup of blessing, the blood of Christ. And now may the Holy Communion of the Body and Blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ bless, keep, and preserve each one of you in body, soul, and spirit, even unto everlasting life. Be at peace. Amen. Go forth into the world in peace, be of good courage, hold fast to that which is good, render to no one evil for evil, strengthen the faint-hearted, support the weak, help the afflicted, honor all people, love and serve the Lord, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit, and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. <clears throat>